guys, welcome back to Romance Review TV with Lady T. And I got another recap video for you guys. A crazy one. Love Island, USA Season 4, Episode 22. So we're winding down to the last day of Casa Amora. It's also time for the biggest recoupling of the season coming out of Casa Amora. And it gets real messy. I mean, it is a shit show. So before we jump into this, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel to receive all updates. And please don't forget to like and share. So as we remember from the previous episode, Deb is having a strong connection with Kyle. While Jesse, who is sitting in Casa Amor, is just betting on Deb that he's going to go back to her and make everything right. Also in Casa Amor is this thing between Phoebe and Isaiah. And as much as he was struggling to fight it, he couldn't win. And of course, we also heard Sydney saying that she's going to ask him to be her boyfriend, which I think he's already off the market. There's a looming recoupling tonight, so we got to jump into this. So it brings us back to our current episode where... Yeah, they're making a love connection here. Uh, Phoebe is relentless. She's not letting up. She's making sure that she sink her claws deep, deep into Isaiah's heart. And therefore, he cannot think about Sydney. Sydney who? Yeah, but he's struggling because he can't shake Sydney out of his system 100%. But... I think it's down to 20% and Phoebe is at 80. Let's talk about Chaz because remember, Chaz has been building this connection with Gabby. Now, all of a sudden in this episode, he's building a connection with Bella. Now, I never saw this coming. I thought Bella had a different connection with somebody else in the house over the past couple episodes. So I don't know if we're missing something, but... All of a sudden, he has this strong connection that he wants to explore with her and that she was the number one over Gabby. And I think I remember in the hideaway, he told Gabby she was number one. What are you doing, Chaz? What game are you playing here? I mean, you came in being the nice guy, but uh, I don't know about now. So let's go back back over to the villa we have Nadja and Nick Nick and Nadja and these two have been going strong hot and heavy over the past several episodes they're really building their connection and she seemed to be happy with him now she did say that she still have somewhat a connection with Jeff but I guess the the time period that her and Jeff had to connect, nothing was gone, going on. And it was kind of quick before Casa happened. And then here comes Nick. And so for the last four days, they've been building their connection. So looks like it's pretty solid. She seems pretty happy with Nick. Nick is excited to, you know, see where this can go with Nadja and yeah, but on the flip side, back over at Casa, Jeff is making it his mission to say, you know what, I'm going to stand firm for Naja. I mean, it's beautiful girls here, but I'm going to, when I get back over there, I'm going to go 200 miles an hour for Naja. Well, I don't know if you're in the same even expressway where Naja is, because she's on a whole different highway right now, Jeff. So it ain't looking good, but we'll have to wait till we get to the end to see. And Isaiah really didn't give him any type of advice, because he can't. Because he also is stuck on this whole thing with Phoebe. Phoebe is competing for him. She knows what you know. she's up against with Sydney and she's not afraid of it she's like nope i'm gonna make it my mission i'm relentless and i'm gonna dig deep however we do hear of course jeff telling isaiah you know you need to go with what you feel and this is your uh journey and you need to make your decision okay so now back over at the villa, we see a conversation happening between Kat and Courtney because Courtney wants to know how Kat feels about Chad. She don't want Chad. 
she threw Chad in the friend zone yesterday. And this is where we see Kat letting Courtney know the update that, I'm sorry, as much as I thought I liked Chad, eh, I don't see him no more than just a friend at this point. So back over to Chaz with two Zs, he now has to sit down and have a conversation with Gabby because now he has to inform her as much as, you know, they started off strong, our connection is not what I thought it was going to be and I need to pursue this connection that I have with Bella. And Gabby was like, okay. Okay, what happened with this? Because you told me I was number one. So now all of a sudden you want to, you know, put me in the friend zone or, well, he left the door open for her, which is say, well, I do have a connection with you, which gave her false hope, actually. So back in the villa, we do have this conversation between Courtney and Chad and they're starting to talk about Sesame Street. And you know what? They're this very quirky, silly couple. Now, I wouldn't expect that of Courtney. And even Chad said that he she keeps surprising him, you know, about the different things that they have to talk about. But it's actually making him more connected to her. And so, of course, they end this scene with a kiss. And, I mean, me personally, I don't see the connection. But, hey... I'm not in the villa. Obviously, it's working. So bedtime has hit. And Phoebe is, I mean, because Isaiah is just laying there. She's like, I'm going to get a kiss out of you no matter what. Chaz and Bella is in the bed getting their smooching on. We saw Chauncey and Jared getting their smooch on. And that was it. And everybody else was asleep. So we wake up the next morning and Phoebe is still trying to tell the girls that, oh yeah, it, this is going to go down. You know, Isaiah and I, we're about to be a couple. He taking me back in that villa and I'm like, yeah, this girl, I mean, Sydney don't stand a chance at this point. So the guys are trying to figure out what to do next. Now I know Jesse is like, I'm 110% Deb. I made mistakes. I'm going to go back and make this work. Again, Jeff is like, you know what? I'm 110% and 200 miles an hour straight forward for Nadja. Nadja, again, she's on a whole different expressway, a whole different road somewhere else. And that road leads to Nick. Uh, we see a little bit of Zeta, and she making sure she got the perfect bikini outfit. So when uh, Timmy comes back, she's going to make sure he get a good look at that bikini and her. Um, now, we're back at this whole conversation with Courtney. And Courtney now all of a sudden have a connection with Sam. And I'm like, okay, are the producers trying to throw in confusion so we won't know what direction these people are going because I would have I'm actually seeing Sam pretty much for the first time in a whole video clip except for the one where he was introduced I I never saw this coming so I don't know if they told her to talk to her to kind of throw a loop into every I mean talk to Sam in order to throw a loop into all of this but obviously it's an, enough there where they were kissing on that terrace so I didn't get that. I was I, I would have never expected that. All we saw is her and Nick. So then we see Jared walks over to Isaiah. Now I'm thinking Isaiah is asleep. And even Ian Sterling, the commentator, said the same thing. And Jared goes into this whole speech about pretty much is he what was the reason he came here for Love Island? Were you here to look for love? Were you here to look for something else? And I'm like he's going on and on and then Jeff comes over there and pretty much all we heard Isaiah is like you know what it's a tough decision that I gotta make he really didn't say much to the guys because he's struggling you know I, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes so then we're back with Chaz with two Z's Gabby comes back around because they didn't get to sleep together in the bed because he slept with Bella this time and she pretty much lets him know that she felt some kind of way and she was jealous. Now, Chaz was like, really? 
I'm like, why would you be shocked by that? You spent the whole hideaway with this man. Uh, she spent the whole hideaway with you. So why wouldn't she feel some kind of way when you switched up on her and jumped in bed with Bella? Uh, yeah, Gabby was like, I feel like I've been played because you told me you I was number one. And then he comes back in the same conversation and say, you know what? I'm exploring both of you guys options as options. So I know it's going to be hard and I got to make a decision. And I looked at them eyes and I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah, you going left with this. And this poor girl, she about to get her heart broken. That is so unfortunate. Now the moment we all waited for, because I was like, I'm hoping we get it all in this episode is the recoupling, which of course, meaning that you get to either stick or twist. And decisions have to be made. So everybody gets around having conversation. You know, the boys that's in Casa, the girls that's in the OG Villa, trying to figure out what they're going to do. Because Deb has a decision to make, especially when it comes to Kyle and Jesse. And then we all know what Timmy's going to do because he hasn't connected with anybody. But Zeta is worried that he has connected with somebody and that he's uh, what's the word she used? Um, moving mad over there. So then the moment of truth, Sarah came in and you know what that means. I was excited because I'm like, yeah, let's get it. So she explained the rules. We already know. The first person that she asked who was already single is Courtney. Now, remember, she has this new connection with Sam. And then she also has a connection with Chad that she's been building upon. And moment of truth, she ended up choosing Chad. So that wasn't a big shocker for me. But I know with Sam, poor thing, he got his heart broken. He don't seem like he's heartbroken, but I thought it was false hope. So next up is Kat. Now, Kat hadn't really built any connections. She tried with Chad. It didn't work. She's originally also coupled up with Chaz with two Zs. So she chose to stay single in order to stick with Chaz if he's single so she can get the Jared. Well, that didn't quite work because Chaz came back in with Bella. So that derailed her. Now, she still has a spot in the villa as being single and one of the OG girls. But she's waiting to see what Jared is going to do. In the meantime, Chaz felt that he had a better connection with Bella. And that when she comes in, she lights up the room. Well, here comes Jared. Jared comes down with Chansey. And you can tell that, uh, yeah, it didn't go the way that Kat wanted it to. She thought she was going to kind of play and make her own rules. Unfortunately, the guys chose differently. So now she is officially single. So then we got Naja. Naja and Nick. Nick and Naja, they had built upon their connection. She was originally coupled up with Jeff. And Jeff got the shock of his life coming down single. Which also shocked Naja because she thought that he was going to meet somebody over there. But now he's done. He is so done. And I'll tell you why. Because something happens at the end. It's now Zeta's turn. Zeta's a little worried. Timmy comes down. Tries to play with her head. by, and Because she originally had a smile thinking he was single. Then he turned around and tried to give a head moving. Like he egging somebody else to come on. And of course she went from smiling to disappointment. And then he was joking. Womp womp. He was joking. He came back single. He said, you know, their connection is undeniable. He want to see where they can go and that they're stronger together. And I'm excited about this couple. I was rooting for them for day one. Timmy was moving a little mad, as Zeta would always say, but they're still together. Then there is Deb. Now, Deb has been building this connection with Kyle. Actually, she gets a lot of what she's looking for and what she needs from Kyle because Jesse has been coming up short. And the facial reactions on some of these folks' face when Deb made her decision to stick with Kyle, everybody was floored because the, the boys know how Jeff was insistent on 
you know, remaining single for Deb and how much work he was going to come back and put into this. I got to give it to Jesse, though. He came back and handled us like a champ. He was very diplomatic. She was like, I didn't think I could trust you. I'm like, are you serious? He barely touched you. He ain't touching nobody over there. Anyway. So, but he was like, you know, you look happy. I'm happy for the both of you guys. I'm like, you go, Jeff. Very diplomatic. He didn't get messy. He didn't get, you know, crazy, which I, that kind of turned Deb's, you know, turn her head a little bit crazy, but we'll talk about that too. Last but not least, Sydney. Now, Sydney plans to make Isaiah her boyfriend. Well, unfortunately, he's no longer on the market at least towards you, because he came back with Phoebe. And it shockwaves went across the villa because the girls knew how much Sydney was riding for Isaiah. But she was like, you know what? I knew it. And she was like, you know, I'm not going to even cry. I know my worth. I don't want to mess up this makeup. And he just stoic. He had no emotions. He was like, you know, I had to go with my heart. She, I, she was the better connection. And every, you can tell the tension in that bonfire was so thick that you can cut it with a proverbial knife. And I mean, man, everybody was shook. Everybody was shook, shaken, whatever you want to call it. Deb was messed up because she realized that maybe she should have stuck it out a little bit longer with Jesse. And Nadja tried to come back and backtrack with Jeff. And Jeff was like, nah, nope, don't talk to me. I'm done. You made your decision. And so, of course, Nadja is devastated. But you got Nick, so you need to go check on your boy Nick. You made your choice, sweetie. Uh, Jeff says, nope, I'm sorry. So, there you have it. That was one hell of a shocking ending to Casa Amor. I don't think it's over. Because some of those people that are still single are going to probably try to undermine the new relationships that their old partner is currently in. So, we'll have to stay tuned. Um, I don't think there's any other connections with the ones that are single right now. So, um, I'm assuming there are more bombshells that could come in, which will shake up the villa even more. So, we'll have to wait and see. So, I hope you enjoyed this crazy, crazy recap of Love Island USA episode 22. And before you go, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And please don't forget to like and share. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.